Hi, my name is Fiona. I study general engineering and this is my story. I liked at Sheffield because they had a general engineering course. I didn't really know anything about the city before I applied here, but then I came to visit and I found it was a really nice green city and everybody at the university was really friendly and answered my questions and chatted to me. And I was like, you know what, this seems like the kind of place I'd like to fit in. When I came to the open day at Sheffield and I met the staff and students on the course I'm studying now, um, they all talked to me, they all kind of engaged me and made me feel like a person who was cared about by the university rather than another statistic. So I first kind of came out to myself at sort of 17 or 18, but sort of bringing that into the world is a different story. Um, nobody really has one coming out story. In terms of how being queer, being bisexual has impacted my time at university, it's, there's never really been one clear event or anything like that. Um, in engineering particularly, as a woman, you already feel in some contexts like a bit of an outsider. My course, General Engineering, actually has quite good gender balance. Um, some other departments like Chemical Engineering have quite good gender balance. But equally, um, in my first year, I think, in one of the lectures I was in, there were about 50 women out of 250 people in the lecture. The university puts on events like uh, LGBT History Month every year. Um, it's generally a fairly safe place, a place I feel comfortable being out and being part of the community here. The main club or society that I've been part of during my time at university has been the Canoe Club. I joined in my first year, uh, I'd done a little bit of canoeing and kayaking already and I kind of wanted to do some more. And it's ended up being the place where I've met most of my friends and been my main social network while I've been at university. Um, canoe Club is full of engineers, which means that I've had friends who've been able to kind of guide me through both the sort of course content side of things, even if we didn't do the exact same course, we might well have done some similar modules. And also just the university side of like, how do you find a house in second year? Um, how do exams work? That sort of thing. I'm also in the Women in Engineering Society. Uh, through them, I've got to know lots of other women sort of studying all kinds of disciplines of engineering. And I've also had lots of volunteering opportunities. So uh, things like groups of school groups and groups of beavers and brownies and things coming into the university to sort of learn about science and engineering. I once had a small child ask me if electricity is really that important. And I was like, yeah, we could, we could talk about that, but also what can you think of that uses electricity? Um, and that kind of got me into, I have a, a, I work for the university as a science and engineering champion, which is a uh, on-campus role um, doing outreach related to science and engineering at the university. So through that, I've done all kinds of work with people from like age three to 90 um, for science festivals, um, public events, or private events where schools come to visit the university. Everything from kind of like getting six year olds to look at our fingernails on a microscope and go, ew, to actually explaining um, some kind of careers related and university related stuff to prospective students. Before and during my time at university, um, I've had some mental health issues, specifically anxiety. Uh, this is kind of, there's no way around it, it does affect your time here. It's something more people than you often realise are dealing with. But everything from getting really, really anxious about exams to just socially, if you're feeling really like, oh, it's then harder to sort of be yourself, meet people and make friends. But feeling part of things um, and feeling settled in a place has really helped me with that. So from support structures around friends to university support services, directly through the health services and through um, DDSS, Disability and Dyslexia Support Services, also do learning support for conditions like anxiety and other mental health issues, which I didn't realise when I came here, but it's actually really, really helpful. And it's something you don't often get in schools. So it's, um, yes, yeah, that's been really instrumental to me working through and both dealing with my anxiety and learning to kind of cope with it and um, just enjoy my time here and kind of fulfil the best of my potential as an engineer.